Hey guys, so I wanted to intro to you a front foot elevated split squat. Most of the times you guys see like rear foot elevated split squat, which is great, another great exercise that kind of, like I said, when the back foot is up, usually we'll get a little bit of a lean, that athletic lean, you know, it teaches propulsion. Uh, on this one, it really teaches to keep your pelvis over your rib cage, like staying vertical, think squat, like think squatty squat. So what I'm gonna do is, is, is coach this, and, and by the way, Word up to, I would say, Pat Davidson for this, because because kind of that's where I got it from. We've been using it a ton, and it's, it's absolutely great. Uh, but I'm going to show it with body weight, and to be honest with you, for a lot of people, body weight will be just enough for this because it's, it's that challenging. And then I'm going to skip over and go to a zercher position, which just allows you to be, um, you know, kettlebell goblet squat can also do that, but a lot of times you can fatigue. So I'm going to show you guys with a zercher position. So what we're going to do is go into a Front, uh, front foot elevated position, and stay. The, the key is to stay as upright as possible here, right? So, think of you know a lot of times when you go into a lunge or a split squat, you know the, the chest will come down, you push back into the hips. We want to avoid that. So, a couple of things right from the get go. So, I'm going to show you from this angle, and then we're going to go a little bit of side angle. Is we actually want to make sure that we turn this hip in and sit back into this hip, so we're leveling out our pelvis. A lot of times, that's the starting point where things go wrong, okay? Meaning, like you're shifted, okay? So we wanna turn this hip in, sit into this butt cheek, you're gonna feel that, you're gonna feel your abs too. So now I'm gonna be as upright as I can possibly be, okay? And I'm gonna drive my knee as far forward as I possibly can. So I'm staying as vertical as I can, really pushing that knee forward till I touch the ground. And for most people, you'll see that this, this knee will kind of fall out. So we wanna make sure we feel the whole foot. Matter of fact, for a lot of folks, I'd say, think there's a $100 bill on the inside of your foot, and that's where you're gonna push through so that your knee is aligned with the middle of the toe, right? So, so now we're pushing this hip in, sit back into this hip, where as vertical as possible, this knee pushes far forward, and now I'm gonna go like a, as Pat would say, elevator versus escalator. So I'm gonna go straight up and not push back. Notice how I'm still on top of my hips. I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna lock out here. And again, I'm staying braced, pack chin, this hips forward, this one's back, push the knee forward. Feel the inside of my foot here. Drive as far as I can until I don't have any more ankle dorsiflexion. Coming back up and notice I'm still upright. So I'm gonna show you guys that from the side too. To be honest, like it's been my leg day. Just two of those body weight ones, everything's on fire, okay? But I'll show you from a little bit more of a side position here. Okay, so still think this hip turns in, I'm sitting back into this hip, feel the inside of my foot, stay as vertical as I can possibly be. Pack chin, I'm gonna drive this knee forward, stay vertical, push the inside of my foot. Now watch, I'm not gonna push, so I'm going straight up, right, elevator. So I'm not pushing back, okay? Staying right on top of it, okay? So my pelvis is under my rib cage, Straight line, full canister. Again. And what you're gonna feel too, when you push to that inside of the foot, you're gonna feel your groin slash adductor. But this exercise, you feel absolutely everything. Quads, hamstrings, glutes, adductors. I mean, massive, massive pump. And I just did like three to four reps, five reps, showing you guys, okay? Think doing this eight for 10. It's great for, like I said, keeping uh, core, I would say stacked, right? A squatty squat, great for building mus muscle, great for building strength. Like I said, a, a great supplement lift for uh, the squat, but also great for hips, right? Think of it, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna say it's called, <laughs> it's a rehab drill, but it can really be helpful with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab actually a pretty heavy load for this one and show you guys a zercher with this. Okay, now most of the time you won't even have to load the, I would say the bar will be plenty, uh, but I ended up loading it here. And so I'll show you guys with a little bit of load how to. All right, so here I am with the zercher bar and you can do that with a straight bar. Zercher bar just has a nice little crease for those elbows to sit into. So thing same position, but now with the zercher bar, as soon as I bring the elbows out a little bit, what it does is turns the abs on that center of gravity is a little bit more removed, right? So it's easier to stack my core and I can keep myself a little bit more vertical, right? So 
Uh, I'm going to switch legs up because I've already crushed out my right leg a little bit. All right, so once again, I'm pushing through the inside of my foot, okay? Toes aligned. I'm going to stay vertical as I can be. I'm going to bring those elbows out. Now it's even more stacked. Push the hip back. Push the knee forward. Stay as vertical as I can. Notice I can kind of lean back, but really I'm really straight up right. Stay right on top of it. Push that knee as far forward as I can. Full range. Actually, I got to reset. That's a challenging one right here. Remember, elevator, not escalator. Whew. And like I said, this is an assistance lift. And you can see if I add this. Now, you can do this with a kettlebell goblet squat. The thing is, if you're doing it for long periods, it can fatigue your upper body. So doing it with the zercher, bringing it out a little bit, kind of makes it a little bit more uh, simple to do without fatiguing grip, without fatiguing upper back, so on and so forth. And notice, you don't really have to use a lot of load. Eight to 10 on this weight, crushing, crushing my leg. And like I said, you wanna have a quad hammy glute adductor pump. Feel great afterwards too. Try this one out and you can do it. That, you can plug it into programming, like I said, as a supplement or assistance lift. I actually like doing some of this as in uh, the warm up prep phase if we're gonna do a squat and just do it with body weight, not do it necessarily for uh, super high reps to fatigue you like crazy, but turn things on. All right, so try out the front foot elevated split squat. Let me know how it 